What's up, guys? It's Wacka. Welcome you to our uh, draft recap for, I believe it's called Supreme Seven Star Draft League. Uh, it's ran by Jaden, who's one of my good friends in the community. And I figured I would just offer some more content and get his league some attention. Um, pretty fun so far. Um, I actually, we just finished the draft like a few, well, it was like last week like a week and a half ago, but I was on vacation for the last week, so I couldn't record anything. Um, I actually just played my week one game, um, so I'll probably just be recording those like really quickly. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is season one of his league. Uh, there isn't like any major gimmick because it's just a season one. It's pretty much just national decks. Uh, I believe he tried to allow like Oko moves, but showdown just like kind of bans those and you'd have to play an ag just to play it so i'm not really sure what's going on with that but with that said let's get into our first pick and you might see my mouse a little bit but um yeah you can see the redo button because that's how i'm going to reveal my picks so our first pick okay I was going to say, what the hell is going on? Our first pick is Dragapult. Um, this mon is kind of a tryhard mon, but like... I haven't gotten to use this in like literally two and a half years. And like so much has happened to like my playstyle since then. I just feel like it'd be fun to try to get to use Pult again. It's a really fun mon. Um, you don't even really have to try hard with it. You can just kind of spam buttons. You can kind of like be annoying if you hate your opponent. Um, I haven't made like enemies in this league yet, but I'm sure I will. And I will be running annoying pulse sets versus them. Um, but yeah, this is the mon that I think won like my first real chip, if you don't count SDS. And you know, it's earned some of my respect for it. So with that said, I grabbed Dragapult. It was also like the eighth, like I was eighth pick overall and this mod was still on the board. I can't believe that it was still on the board. So like you kind of have to take it even if it's like a little try hard. Um, my original idea was to try Latios now that it got a little bit buffed, but why would I use Latios over Pult who's just better in every way, shape and form um, and doesn't have, and Pult still has like enough weaknesses. I can run weakness policy on it. But two immunities is, is cool. Uh, so our, I guess Pult is not on our team. So our next pick is Ursaluna. Um, a little unintentional, but Ursaluna was like... Pult Ursaluna kind of make a pretty decent core. I know that Anabunny's used it. Um, a few other people I think have used like this core. And I didn't really... I didn't realize that this was kind of a core. I just kind of wanted to use Ursaluna again. Uh, it's been like a year, and uh, it was, unfortunately, I think it was on a team, one of my teams that I, like, ended up quitting the league on, but uh, I thought Ursuluna was really fun, and I just wanted to give it another shot. Um, pretty strong, it can run, like, Trailblaze, Sword Stance, Belly Drum, Facade, High Horsepower, Earthquake, Headlong Rush. I don't know why you'd run high horsepower if you can just head long rush. I don't even know if it gets high horsepower. I think it does, uh, but it gets so much coverage. Um, I don't know if I have any mons on my team that kind of bait like the Trailblaze speed tier. Like this mon can outrun like a Shifu at plus one, um, but no one even drafted either of the Shifus, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's an Ursaluna. It's a really fun mon and I can't wait to use it again. Uh, so our next mon is Zapdos. Zapdos is something... I, I just kind of want to grab it to like fill in a bit of a speed tier. Also, kind of grab my Defogger, a Pivot. Um, and also, because I don't want to face Zapdos. I, like, Ursaluna can do fine into Zapdos because of like static proccing guts if I really want to do that. Like, I've done that with Ursaluna against like Moltres a few times. Like not even running flame orb i'm just like oh yeah i'm just gonna get burned by moltres because they always run flame body uh, unless you're mean you like accidentally run pressure but anyway um yeah, zapdos is cool um and you'll kind of see more of why it's on the team and within my next pick 
which is hello developer um so i kind of was looking at the draft board at this point i was like you know rain kind of sounds okay with like Pult and zapdos and i was looking at some terramons that cannot like be ran in the rain and i was like you know what i'm gonna go with pelipper and um i think in gen 9 having just control of the weather is a good idea i think if your team doesn't have like any weather slash terrain control i think weather is a lot more important than terrain to be honest but if you don't have any control of the weather then you're already at like a major disadvantage and i think having control of weather is like it's like a make it or break off make it or break it even just like playoffs um i think last time a cldl i mean i didn't do super well I also don't think I won a single game after drafting weather, but um, at that point I was kind of just memeing every week because I wouldn't have been able to play um, playoffs anyways because of vacation. So um, I don't know if really that counts, but ever since Gen 9 started, I feel like I've drafted like rain, snow. Uh, I don't think I've touched sand yet. I think sand is not good, but like rain and snow I think are the best ones. Sun, I guess if you're doing like a paradox team. Um, so yeah, I just grabbed Pelipper. This mod was like 13 points too, and I was like, damn, it's a little steep. But I think having Pelipper is going to be fine, especially with Zapdos, and I think Dragapult kind of benefits from rain low-key. Um, our next mod is Iron Crown. Um, actually, I don't think I'd grabbed Pelipper before Iron Crown. I think Iron Crown was like my round four pick. Uh, I just have my mons in point order, so that's why Iron Crown's next. Um, but Iron Crown's another reason that I grab Pelipper. Um, just to get rid of the fire weakness and help it to activate, like, weakness policies and stuff like that. Iron Crown, like, screams, run a weakness policy on me, please. As I click agility and then I stored power everything. I think that's really cool. And I'm kind of hoping to see Iron Crown do some stuff. Uh, although at this point, it's kind of funny that I grabbed Iron Crown, especially even though like I, my team doesn't really deal with dark types all that well, and I'm not really hitting dark types, I, I, and I also don't really want to run Focus Blast, but I feel like most dark types probably can't take a, a Tachyon Cutter, so yeah, I mean like you got some water dark types. Uh, I think someone actually drafted Mega Gyarados, um, but like the other ones are really frail, like they're gonna die to an attack on Cutter. So, yeah. Uh, it's also a good pivot. Uh, I believe it also gets like dual screens, I'm not sure. Uh, I wish it got Stealth Rock, but unfortunately I have a Steel and a Ground type that don't get hazards at all. So with my next pick, I figured I, I had the perfect way to fix like all of the issues i have right now except for i guess you can see like a bit of an ice weakness uh oh i thought is a different mon next but this also works for what i was saying um this fixes like a little bit of my dark weakness it also patches like the rest of my speed tiers uh, 109 to 142 isn't like amazing um but it's still fast enough to make sure like some mons above it can't run like adamant nature like i'm pretty sure like weavile can't run adamant against it so that's pretty good um it's also another form of weather control um you'll see with the rest of my team like why i'm drafting like two forms of weather um i actually kind of grabbed this because i didn't want the person with like Chien Pao to grab it and I was like you know what Alola Tails is pretty good in this generation with Veil uh, even just like offensive I've seen Specs I've seen Scarf Moonblast Freeze Dry uh, Blizzard like it has pretty strong moves even though it has a pretty weak special attack but its stabs are just good enough um, and versus like in the rain a lot of steel types I don't think match up versus like water very well like water is almost like super effective on steel in the rain just because like steel can't really hit water um i also have ursaluna and like zapdos 
deal steals pretty well. Pelipper, Iron Crown. Um, even Pult deals with a lot of steel types. Um, with, like, coverage moves and stuff like that. Um, so I figured steel isn't going to be too much of an issue for my team. And I figured, like, having the option to control the weather even more. Like, now people aren't even going to want to run, like, Sunny Day versus me. Because, like, I might have, like, a weather ball on Zapdos just to, like, eat stuff. Um, and overall, like, if you're running, like, Sunny Day or Sandstorm versus me, like, I just, I have weather control if I bring both Pelly and Ninetales. Like, there's not going to be too much of a point trying to fight me at this point. Um, and so with our next pick, I picked up Overquill. Uh, this is the mod I was talking about that fixed, like, some of my weaknesses. Uh, it fixes the Ghost and the Dark weakness that I had. Um, it's also a Rain Sweeper. It deals with Grass types pretty well. It, like, um, not that Grass is, like, super great against my team. Like, it only really beats, like, Ursaluna. But over Quill on a Rain team, like, this mod's really strong. It offers a lot of diversity with having a Swift Swimmer with, like, Stab Poison and Stab Dark. But you don't really get from a lot of other Swift Swimmers. Most of them are just water types. And even then, like, kind of weak. But Overquill has, like, that base 115 attack. If you slap, like, a Life Orb on it, like, it basically has stab water moves in the rain as it is. Uh, unfortunately, Overquill is too overpriced to beat Terran. But I still figured, like, grabbing it is a really good idea. Um, it also kind of fixes the fact that Crown and Ursaluna don't get hazards because it gets spikes and T-spikes if I want to run it that way. Not sure if I will because with the way I drafted, this team is super fast-paced to the point where, like, it's literally better to act like a five-year-old when playing this game than um, to play a slow game with hazards. But it can do, like, in Intimidate or even Poison Point. Um, especially in, like, a match where I don't see, like, Kabu... Um, which is my next mon. I'm just going to put this on the screen now. If I don't see, like, Kabu winning, I can see myself running Intimidate over Quill. Kabutops isn't the strongest Pokemon in the world, but it is still a Swift Swimmer. Still has, like, a base 115 attack stat, which is a lot stronger than, like, say, Seismitoad and stuff like that. Uh, it also gets Flip Turn. Uh, it's also base 80 speed, which is pretty decent because uh, a lot of the Swift... Like, a lot of the Swift Swimmers and the Slush Rush users that I've been using are pretty slow. This mon doesn't really need a lot of investment out speed things, which is nice. Uh, it also gets a lot of coverage, which means, um, like, Tear is going to be nice, even though it doesn't get Terra Blast. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't put the Gen 1 fossils in uh, Scarlet and Violet. I kind of wish they did, but it's whatever. Um... Yeah, Swift Swim is pretty good on this thing. It also gets Stealth Rock and Rapid Spin just in case. Uh, I wouldn't really think it, I would run it as like a, a defensive mon at all, but I could run it as like a Sash lead, maybe. Because um, it depends. I do have a Snow Mode, as you'll see in a second. Um, so like Overcool and Kabu can be run without Pelipper, just because Ninetales is there to set up for like the next mon on my team. Um, like, it almost seems like the middle of my team is more likely to come to games than the other ones, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, so our next pick is Alolan Sand Slash, which is our next Terra. Um, I don't know if I'm going to regret putting Terra on this thing. I just figured fixing Ice Steel type is going to be pretty nice for it because, um... Like, it has a lot of weaknesses, especially some pretty bad weaknesses. Actually, it doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. Apparently, it only has three. But it has two, like, really strong weaknesses. Although, fire versus rain isn't going to be, like, too problematic. Even ground versus both snow and rain isn't going to be, like, super problematic. Fighting, maybe. Um, but I also have two flying types. So, I guess, like, alone sand slash, like, it's kind of covered just by, like, the rest of my team kind of handling those types really well. Um, I've used Alone Sand Slash 2 within uh, uh, low tiers. Um, Terra wasn't a thing back then. I'm, I'm pretty sure I just drafted Alone Sand Slash, like, as my Steel type. 
but I did run like manual hail for it. Um, it also gets like triple axle, and um, I'm pretty sure it gets like iron head or like heavy slam. I don't fucking know. Uh, it's just a sand slash. Uh, another rapid spinner though, and another mon with spikes and stealth rock. So um, I'm kind of covering like those things within my low tiers, I guess. Um, what else can Sand Slash do? Uh, it gets knockoff, so does Kabu. Uh, so they're both like good Terra Dark candidates, I think. Um, or like Terra Fighting, even. Um, if Assuming I don't just do like Terra Ice or like Terra Water on Kabu. Um, but yeah. And then our last pick is for Sam Key. I picked up Go Goat. Uh, I really wanted to tear Go Goat, but I figured if I'm gonna do Alolan Sand Slash and Alolan Nine Tails together, like uh, Sand Slash should be the Terra, and it's probably gonna be more fun. But like for the sake of using Go Goat, I probably should have teared Go Goat. Go Goat doesn't even really get anything that's like gonna help my team in that regard. But um, it does have like a pretty high base stat total, surprisingly pretty fat. Uh, it can run bulk up and stuff like that um it can also just generally like say if i'm baiting a grass move onto kabu i can go into go go or even ursaluna if i'm baiting a, a grass move into luna or kabu i can go into sap sipper go go and like start clicking buttons from there i feel like the base 100 attack isn't the strongest thing but you can run this thing with like pretty offensively um i would have to see what else it can do. I've only ever seen Gogoat run bulk up, and I've seen Gogoat perform pretty well, so I'm excited to use it. Um, it's also there to, like, represent um, a goat that died a couple months ago, so uh, she gets to be part of the team. And yeah, that is the whole draft. Um, if you guys have, like, any suggestions for, like, trades or suggest tear go goat over sand slash like go ahead i'm probably not going to change anything there's not anything on this team i feel like i could change i could swap iron crown for a chaladon um but i didn't really want to see our chaladon and drag pult like they just kind of take away from each other and i think i enjoy crown a lot so i chose not to um and from the rest of the draft board, this is the team I think I was the happiest with. So with that being said, I don't think I'm going to trade anything. Uh, this team is just super fun, smashing buttons, um, pivoting around. Um, and just, as you'll see in my week one game, you'll understand. And uh, yeah, thank you.